Hey, this is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the new Lifter LMS add on, Lifter LMS Private Site. This is a solution developed for internal training uses where nobody is allowed to view the website unless they're logged in. We use this at lifterlms.com to lock down our internal training, so it's a subdomain we have. I believe it's like team.lifterlms.com or something like that, where we have internal training just for our team members, and so we use this private site add on in order to lock down the entire website courses memberships pages posts everything you'll see it here in a second it locks down the entire website so only logged in users can view the content great for internal training let's take a look at this add-on in action before we take a look let's check out the plugin list i have lifter lms and lifter lms private site installed and those are the only two plugins and with lifter lms private site installed i can head to lifter lms settings integrations and we'll have a new area called Lifter LMS Private Site. Let's go ahead and click on that and enable this integration. So it says my settings have been saved, my changes have automatically been saved, and I have a few options here. We'll dive into these options in a second, but let's take a look at what happens when I try to access the website now. As someone who's logged in, of course, I can view the website and everything looks normal, but if I go to an incognito window here in Chrome, I see a login. I just went, I tried to go to the home page, but I see a login page. And so let's maybe try to take a look at a course page. See what happens if I try to open up a course, copy link address, jump over here, go to the course directly. Takes me back here to the login page. So the entire website is locked down behind this login wall just by activating the Lifter LMS private site add-on. If we jump back to the back end of WordPress, let me close out my tabs here and check out the settings again. We've enabled the integration and we have a new private site login page. This is going to be a page that the add-on automatically creates. Let's see under pages we have private site login. And if I edit this page we can see it's just a short code. And if this page was not automatically created all you need to do is add this short code to a WordPress page and have it designated as your private site login. That's where users will go to when they're logged out. And the nice thing about this, having this as a page, let me exit the code editor and go back to the general WordPress editor, is we can add items to this page. So we could add in an image from the media library. If we select an image, update that. This page is editable. You can put text on here that says, this is the internal training company, or this is internal training for a specific company. We could put a message on here, which is more likely what you'd have. We might have a heading that says, this is the internal training for company X. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. This is the internal training for company X. So you could outline a little bit for users who view this page as to what's going on here and why we're seeing a login page. If you wanted to add some content to this page, just a general WordPress page that is available to edit. Scrolling down the settings a little bit further, we can enable open registration. Currently with my setup that I have going on this example website, there's no way for a user to register for the website. If we were to try to access one of the enrollment links for a course, it wouldn't work. If I go to one of my courses, edit the course, and try to enroll via an access plan, just do this access plan. Back in the incognito window, we'll access the link. It's just going to take me to the login page. So the only way for someone to become a user on this website is if the admin manually creates them as a user. So that's where this second setting comes into play, open registration. We might want to allow users to register here on the login page. By checking that box, we see the registration form asking for email, password, and a few other pieces of information here. And if you did want to edit this under Lifter LMS forms, is where we have the registration form. This is the form that's populated right here. So if you did want to edit this registration form, it's going to be the default registration form. If we wanted to maybe remove the address field, let's go ahead and remove that block, update my form, and then reload. So now address is no longer asked for on the register form. That's how you could edit that form if you wanted to do that. Let's close out of there. I'm going to disable open registration for my use case and reload. So just back to the login page. And then the next setting we have is search engine visibility. 
We can discourage search engines from indexing this website. Usually I'd recommend checking this box. If you have a site that's purely for internal training, we don't really need search engines indexing this page right here because we're not trying to rank for SEO. So I'd recommend checking that box. I'd also recommend disabling RSS feed and disabling the REST API for unauthenticated users. This just prevents other websites from accessing certain items like RSS feed for our post and the API connections. So this, these three boxes I usually leave checked and that just locks down the entire website. And by clicking save changes at the top, we have completed the tour of Lifter LMS private site. You can create users in the backend of WordPress under users add new. And this is usually what we do at Lifter LMS. When we have a new team member, we'll come here to users add new, we'll fill out their email and create them a password and create them a login. And that way they can get by this login wall. But this is a great solution for creating private membership websites or private course websites for internal training. And I'm sure there's other ways that our users will figure out to use this tool for some clever use cases. But let us know in the comments below this video if you have any questions about Lifter LMS private sites or any other videos you want to see from us on the Lifter LMS YouTube channel. My name is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.